Officer Brian Stanley. Our neighbor? Our neighbor. And now we wait for him to be exonerated. So what does one do, Vanessa? We gotta take a stand. You're going to come over to our house. I'm going to talk and you're going to listen. This is by far the dumbest thing you could possibly be doing. Hey. Brother! Hey. Andy. What's up? <laughs> oh, come on in. We understand that you're a successful black man and all. <laughs> you're one of the good ones, brother. But you just living under the white man's thumb. Not always. You're one of the good ones, brother. There you go. That was a trailer for a lot of nothing arriving everywhere. Check it out. It's your boy Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule of the World. And as you see on the screen, I'm so excited, so delighted to have the cast. Alan and Cleo, you all are amazing. I love that black love. I love the synergy, the chemistry y'all put in this. And y'all get to put it down on some things that, as a person of color myself, what we've thought about doing. And we got to see it get portrayed in this film. Uh, thank you both for your time today. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, man. So uh, I want to start with with uh, you, Cleo, because uh, you kind of set it off and bring my man Alon uh, down with you with what's going to happen in this film. Um, what was it like getting involved with this project? When Mo reached out, he was like, yo, we're going to talk on some things, but we're also going to, you know, really speak on. It's, it's an amazing ride. And I've been trying to sell this to my friends uh, about this. Uh, what was it like for you when you heard word of this project? Well, you know, I've been doing I've been an actor for 20 years and I read a lot of scripts and um, I'd never read anything like this. It really highlighted for me uh, how grateful I feel to be an artist, to be able to reflect the times, to be able to talk about these topics in a nuanced, cool way. I loved the tone of the film. It's absurd, but it's really deep at the same time. Um yeah, and then the character of Vanessa, like it just was so juicy. It was something that I, I've been wanting to play a character like her my whole career. Mm. Let's go! Uh, congratulations, and I'm thankful for that for you as a fellow actor as well. Thank something you. like this is something we always look for. Alan, uh, for, to you as well. Mo reached out. He's like, bro, you got to peep this. And man, what did you want to bring to this role? Well, Mo reaching out in of itself was like. That's my guy. I don't think I can really explain. I, I just, I respect Mo. We, we worked on a, on a film a few years back and I just became a big fan of him and his energy and what he brings to life in general. So him reaching out, that in itself, I was definitely going to really peep and, and um, do my due diligence. And then once I read the script, I was like, damn, like not only is it talking about these really rich themes in a nuanced way, but also selfishly as an actor, I'm able to tap into all of these, into this range that I have yet, you know, in the entire time of my acting, at least on film, I've never been able to bring to the screen. So it was just like a win, win, win situation. I love it. Well, y'all killed it. Y'all are amazing in this project. I can't wait for the rest of the world to see this now. And I'm so excited that everyone is going to now see it. Everybody check it out uh, right now as of this recording, when this is put out, go peep that. I'm ready for the conversations. Uh, I'm sure y'all seen this and now you know recently we've had you know some unfortunate things in the news of just you know why in a film to why it's so important to have a film like this so we can speak on these things to hopefully create change um what do, what are you uh expecting conversation wise and what are you excited about most now with it reaching a wider audience this week uh, back to you cleo um i mean there's so much to talk about uh i think that people are going to 
obviously going to talk about the larger themes that we're tackling, but this film has always been about the micro and the macro. So these massive, massive themes and then zooming in on this one house and these particular people and how it's affecting them and their day to day and their marriage and their job. And, you know, when they're in traffic and like just little things like that, um, I think people will hopefully find that relatable and feel seen. But then there's also these like crazy, absurd, dramatic things that take place that are entertaining, um, hopefully satisfying, as you mentioned earlier. And my character, Vanessa, she's whew, um, complicated. And I, so I, I think people are probably going to maybe talk about that and their the relationship. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I could talk to you all day about it. Y'all brought it. I, like, I wish I could have been on set to, you know, see mm. those interactions. Hey, Mo, I got this idea. I got this idea. Uh, Yolan, the same question for you. You know, what was that like being on set? You you have the scripts, but then it's one thing, you know, from the script to then, you know, portraying that and what you want to bring yourself as a person. Uh, can you talk to me about that? Yeah, I mean, real quick about what people, what, what sort of people uh, will get from it. I think I, it's going to be very, it's going to be all over the place. It's going to be a mess of of, of opinions and I think that that's what the goal was when uh, Mo was creating this project is for people to not feel like they know everything because there's so many different perspectives you know mm -hmm. it's a satirical thriller for a reason and, I, and it's extreme and bizarre for a reason so you can push the limit and see just how varied those perspectives are so I'm, I'm excited to see you know, how, how people respond to it. But Love or Hate It, I think it's going to be a film that people will always remember. Uh, oh, definitely. I've never seen a film like it. It's got that novelty. Novelty, especially these days, does it, it comes few and far between. So um, definitely, they got to make sure they come check it out. Definitely, definitely. So to close out, I have to know, what was a favorite moment for you both? You got the screenplay, you're working on this project. When you finally saw it, what what particular scene did you enjoy the most or and was most self-satisfying for you, uh, Alon? I mean, Cleo, back to you to, to close it out. Um, I was super, super proud of our opening scene. It's a 17-minute one-take scene that we spent Ooh. a lot of time rehearsing. It felt like a play. It's like a prologue to the film. Um, we actually just quickly, like we, we started this in 2020, we stopped for COVID. We came back a year later. We hadn't yet made it to that scene. So this was sort of like hanging over our heads. Mm. Um, so to come back and nail that was so satisfying. The crew were crying. It was like an incredible experience for everyone. So to see how it turned out, I was really, really happy. Love it. And for I you, Alon. I got to say the same thing, that Warner, because I have forgot just how much time past without sort of that thing sort of hanging on over our heads um so i remember distinctly driving home after we did that scene that day and we did it maybe like nine or eleven times or something like that yeah um and each time it was just like a different layer of, of satisfaction but since it's a wonder it, it has different shades in, in each individual take but because we did it so many times we, ate, we were able to experience all of what was possible um, mm. so as a as an artist as an actor that was extremely satisfying to be able to go one point to to be able to go from a to z you know i love it well I, i've always been a fan of you both and it was amazing to see another project that makes you even more of a fan so cleo alan man y'all put that foot in it uh, a lot of nothing everybody y'all gotta check this out and, and man just see why i'm humbling throwing so much praise on the both of them um it's in theaters and in uh, on demand everywhere it's your boy kuyp this is nerds world world thank you both immensely for your time i really appreciate thank it you. Thank hey you. man appreciate you bro